We've brought you stories daily now about how Connecticut is rallying behind war-torn Ukraine in so many different ways, and that includes relief efforts spearheaded by a New Haven church. Fox 61's Tony Terzi joining us live now from New Haven with more on how the church helped facilitate health care for injured Ukrainian soldiers. Tony. Lauren and Brent, good afternoon and good afternoon to you at home. We're here live at the lovely uh, St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church. You know, we've heard how Yale New Haven Hospital, which is very close by, is committing to donate about a million dollars in aid to Ukraine. But according to the wife of the priest here at the church, they're doing so much more thanks to some assistance from the church in connecting soldiers with them. It's so nice of them. Yuliana Godenchuk says she's grateful to Yale New Haven Health for bringing Ukrainian soldiers wounded in the war with Russia to New Haven for treatment. Do you know how many soldiers? In our parish, it was like three. They stay here. One. He passed away. She says the two soldiers who survived were treated, then sent back to Ukraine. One it was uh, completely blind. One with in one leg it was missing, but they make him like uh, I don't a know. prosthetic. Yeah, prosthetic. Yale New Haven Health has not yet confirmed to Fox 61 that they indeed did render this care. And these pictures shared by Juliana show just how much everyone is cared, including this woman who made and donated these hand-sewn blankets. Because I've seen, you know, what's going on over there, I stopped doing what I was doing just to make sure that I could provide a need for Ukraine. This is her second batch. I have little blankets also for the infants. How long did it take you to make these? It takes um, half an hour to make two. But the church is asking for only medical supplies and monetary donations moving forward. We need to change because it's so expensive to ship. Yeah, and she said it's about $20,000 that they've spent across the four shipments so far. So they said they'd be very thankful if you could donate money. If you want to donate money, they actually, outside the church, they have this board with a big QR code on it. You can scan it with your phone and go ahead and make that donation. Now, she said really, really, in her dreams, she's hoping a local medical provider, an ambulance company, will provide a used ambulance for Ukraine. So fingers crossed. Hope you guys are listening out there. I talked to AMR today. We'll see, uh, we'll see if they can come up with anything across the state. We're live here in New Haven. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.